Good that we got everything squared away. All right. Everything's taken care of. Uh, Gene got an item. Let's see. Ultra Ball! What? I got an Ultra Ball from Pickup? Are you for real? Dude, that is so good. I'm going to save my game right here just in case, like, anything stupid happens. Because I got a free Ultra Ball from that. Holy crap! Super rare! Like, I'll put on screen what percentage of a chance that is. And I feel so bad, though, because I'll be honest, going in here, I have Teddy Ursa in my first slot, though, because I don't want any of my out of hand hour next, actually, as a result of that as well. Just because I kind of want to save the Pokemon that are proper on my team for a little bit later. Wouldn't have been able to do this in other games where I don't really catch Pokemon a whole lot. Wow! Hound Hour survived! Damn! Their shock should finish it off, so I don't need to worry about Water Pulse or Seismic Toss anymore. There we go! Now I'm curious what he's gonna send out next, uh, cause being honest, I actually have done this fight twice already. I lost horribly both times. Once due to poor skill, once due to getting really, really on bad luck with critical hits. As in, he kept criticaling me. Shockwave! No, not a critical! Freaking! Mawai the world, and it's definitely not gonna be winning any awards anytime soon. So be warned about that. So, for that reason- Whoa! Yes! Critical hit! Sweet, sweet justice! Okay. After losing this battle twice, in the ways that you just saw, I feel very good about having critical him at a really, really important time. If he doesn't take out Voltaire this turn by some crazy chance, I'm gonna try to paralyze it as well. Oh, I'm faster. Crap, I forgot I was faster for a brief moment. For whatever reason, I thought Dig was gonna hit first. Oh, what? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm, am I even gonna need my other three Pokemon? Because I'm starting to think I don't. Okay, if that is the case, paralyzing him is going to greatly inhibit his ability to use Dig because he needs two turns to make it work, meaning that he's got to be not paralyzed twice in a row. So if I can, yeah, I pulled it off. If I can do this, he is going to be pretty much stuck using Shockwave and Seismic Toss only at this point, either that or having a bunch of failed digs. He got off the digging the hole, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get off the rest of this attack. Okay, this is starting to turn in my favor. Okay, Mawile's weak. So, I will then get fully paralyzed. I need to bring up something really, really stupid here. I don't think that this is likely, though, but in a battle that I've already lost twice, I feel like this is a good time to bring this up. There is a new rule in XD that is really freaking stupid. As you can see, it says snag with a little purple Pokeball to show that I snagged them a while successfully. If I lose this battle, I don't get to keep a while. Even worse than that, any Pokeballs that I use trying to catch it, or indeed the ball that I use to catch it, is used up and gone forever. Not kidding. So, if you snag a Shadow Pokemon, you have to win the battle. Because if you don't, you don't get to keep it after the fight is over. It is stupid. I don't like that. Oh, Confusion! Okay, good. He's got Parafuge. He's paralyzing Confusion. But, yeah. I hate that rule so much, and it makes everything needlessly difficult. I wasn't really going to be able to get off an attack. Maybe I could use the call command to raise my accuracy, but I don't really think so. Well, I really need it. It's confused. Hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> and it just pops out of the ground instantly. People say that Diglett pops out of the ground fast. No, freaking Raichu, man. And that's it. I don't think that Raichu has any chance of surviving. It is gone. Suck it, Raichu. Ugh. Damn. It feels so good to beat that thing so easily. Okay. And I can't believe it. Didn't need Sveal. Didn't need Aron. That sacrificial hound hour that I threw out there had two HP through like three quarters of that fight. Drat, I didn't see this coming. I got what I came for. I don't need to stick around when I got this data rum. Adios! Net, you really should use external hard drive so they can't hack into it. Aw, oh, the mirror radar. <laughs> The mirror be radar lost the signal. That's what Michael's worried about in a time like this. Really? Oh, my is doing. Oh, am I in trouble? I was distracted for just a minute and a prisoner gave me a slip and escaped. The chief will be furious with me yet again. Pow. See, look at this. They are the worst police force ever. Like, they really should not be allowed to say Chief Sheryl needs to be fired. And in fact, if we go in here... You can see indeed that a prisoner escaped. He just walked through the door and he's not even here anymore. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else here though, but yeah. There's nothing else here that I wanted to really show though, but yeah, there really is a prisoner that has escaped from his cell and he just...
We are going to be finally able to head off to Fenac City and warn the mayor of all that. I really hope nothing has gone wrong at all the time that we've been gone, considering that, well, we kind of took our sweet time with getting here, just saying. <laughs> Welcome to Fennec, and hooray, congratulations! Incredibles may seem you're exactly the one millionth visitor to Fennec, considering the population's like 12, I kind of find that hard to believe. In commemoration, please accept this, a disc case which already comes with some battle CDs! Alright, we got a disc case. Got battle CD number one, battle CD number seven, and battle CD number 20. Okay, you should take that to Railgun Tower in the next town. Go, go, go! The real game tower is a short ways in the northwest. You'll see, you sh you'll see it right away. It's certainly tall enough. I'll tell you that much. Real game tower is a top battling facility where trainers can, un can where trainers can enjoy battle sims among other events using battle CDs. Off you go. Have a good time. And she kicks us out. Yeah, kind of strange, isn't it? We're here to defend the city, and she's like, "Oh no, 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 no! It's way more important for you to go off and have a good time at real game tower." If we try to re-enter Fenac City, though. She stops us again. Oh, hi, how was it? The real game tower, I mean. Huh, you haven't gone yet? Oh, you don't know what you're missing. It's not even out of your way or anything. Go enjoy yourself at the real game tower. I'm sure you'll love it. Off you go. Have a, for a good time. Yeah, we can't go back in. So, because some lady is being an overbearing mother wanting us to go off to some amusement park type place and have a good time, we'll do that because there is actually a lot of stuff here for us and we might even learn what these battle CDs do while we're at it. It's right here. Blizzard. Yeah. I've already bought one. In a game full of double battles, you can just buy the Blizzard TM. I know that's not uncommon to buy the Blizzard TM, though, but damn. That will hit both of your opponents, and it's the best ice attack, ice type attack in the game. You bet that's going on my ball. That sounds really weird. I have no qualms with this whatsoever. Uh, there's an item box here. Carbos, plus speed. I don't think there's any doubt who I'm giving that to. Come on, Voltaire. Come over here so I can rub some carbohydrates on you. That sounds really gr- ugh. Um... What do you have to say? I'm not saying battle sims aren't fun, they are, but I prefer doing things for real. Mount Battle's more my style. Let me tell you, I'm striving right now on non-stop 100 trainer run through Mount Battle. I don't... I don't rightly know if my Pokemon or I have the willpower to get it out, but it's something I will do one of these days. Dude, you are an idiot! Mount Battle is your style, get a new style! Ugh. Nobody likes Mount Battle, you are lying to yourself if you say you do lose if you don't do it under certain conditions so it's just really frustrating anyway that is everything that there is for us at real game tower let's head back to fenex city hey you're not kicking me out now oh you're back already you should have gone off to play the real game tower forever creepy there's a is this it's weird a teacher saying things she usually wouldn't say Oh, hello. Are you here to attend my class I'm glad you're here to hear this Pokemon are just tools for battling use them wisely to destroy your opponents without mercy uh, I think this teacher's getting a little burnt out and she could use a vacation, just saying. It's a popular song among girls, but not what a man like me needs or wants. <laughs> Seems like a waste to throw it out so you can have it. Take it with you, okay? Alright. And once again, he tells us that if we ever want to heal our Pokemon, we can just go ahead and use his bed for that. I like it when people in RPGs let me just walk into their house, having no idea who I am, and they're just like, Oh, hey, yeah, what's up? Here, here's a free gift, even though I've never met you before in my life. It would just be a shame to throw it away. By the way, you can sleep in my bed all you want. I have no trouble. Yeah. That's not a disc player. That's a dresser. The dresser somehow plays music, though, but hey. No, no, leave me alone. You're spoiling my concentration. Okay, well, now that she's distracted, we can head upstairs, and... We have this bathrobe that I thought was a tree stump last time. But, more importantly... Mayor's Note. Wow, this appears to be a letter from the mayor to Justy. Justy, there is bad trouble brewing. Of all places, our beloved Fenac is now the target of Cypher. Already, Cypher's members are secretly taking places of prominent members of our community. If something's not done, the city will be taken over by Cypher without anyone noticing what's happened. Justy, I must turn to you for help. We need your abilities to overcome the crisis facing our city. You, as the leader of Prestige Percept Center, m should be able to do something. It may be too late, however. I already feel threatened by... The letter ended abruptly. Oh, hi, guy. What might you be reading? 
You're not getting the silly idea of delivering that letter to pre-Jim's Justy. Oh, you naughty boy! You need to be taught a lesson for snooping! <laughs>